previously on Phoenix Wright Justice for All. Now behold, oh, is this your card? Oh, oh. I don't know, you threw like 30 cards in me. He reaches into her cloak and he pulls out her card. How about there? Oh my God, how'd you do that? Yeah, well, really, how did you, how'd you get, get that in there? Uh. And now back to pointing at people. Hello. The Sneako B, back with some more Phoenix Wright Justice for All. We last left off, we completed our investigation and met a lot of new characters that had a lot of unique voices that I really struggled with. <laughs> Um, you guys, so I asked you guys what I should do for Moe's voice, and you said I should just give, you thought, you all thought I should just stick with what I gave initially, which was, I guess the, it, the sort of southerny sounding clown. I, I don't know why I ended up sounding that way, I just, I couldn't seem to get it to sound the other way, I, I don't know, maybe it's because if, if I did the other way, it sound more like Monokuma, but, but, hiya kids, like that, like that, but also I think you guys made a good recommendation, a few of you, a lot of you guys said you, it's like, maybe I'd give him a Krusty the Clown voice, which which kind of sounds like this. Well, not, you know, like, basically someone who sounds like he's been smoking all of his life. So, um, maybe when he's, like, more jovial, give him the clown voice. But then when he gets more serious, give him, like, the, like, the grungy, the grun, the grungy, I've been smoking my whole life voice or something, you know? Uh, yeah, I think, actually, I think that's a good idea. So, uh, and everybody else, you guys thought would well, have sounded pretty good. So, um, you, you guys said you really like my Regina voice. Apparently, that was... It's like, he said it was, it was like, the, my best girl voice. Like, it actually sounded more, the most like a girl. I was like, uh, wow, I don't believe it. <laughs> I made a, a girl voice sound like a girl? No way. <laughs> it's unbelievable. All right, anyways, let's go. Things might start to get a little, uh, this is where things might start to get a little bananas. Because this, you said I said that the logic was really probably the worst part of this trial. So, so <laughs> let's see what happens. I'm kind of like, uh... 749 is 943 AM to score defendant lobby number five. Ha ha ha. Oh, I'm just gonna keep flipping cards. Na, 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 na. <laughs> it's just like this massive pile of cards on the floor next to him. Okay, you can stop. No, I must keep going. <laughs> Please, sir, stop. You are filling the courtroom. I can't breathe anymore. Good. Good morning, Max. <laughs> Max? <laughs> Milk. <laughs> what? If I don't have a glass of milk before I go on stage, I just can't function, sweetie. Stage? <laughs> don't worry, it will be stage. All I have to do is sit down. I need some old guys to come out with a beer and just get us to talk about turkey sandwiches and kameda. Uh oh, I, I guess. Nick? Nick is really nervous. That's understandable. He's probably going to lose. <laughs> hey, my sweeties. What? Uh. Ah, talk to the hand. Ah. You don't think I should fly, do you? Huh? You know, you've got to make a good first impression. When I enter the room, maybe I should fly in and warm up the crowd a little and be like, Oh! Wow, it's amazing! It's unbelievable! This man is totally innocent! Yes, all right, free to go! Yes, I knew it, of course! Oh! <laughs> yeah, I don't know what world you live in, but in this world... Well, actually, that, that actually might happen. <laughs> no, 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 no! We can have you fly around the world room, it just wouldn't be right. Imagine if you hit, some, hit someone! <laughs> Don't worry, Max, you're doing Nick says no, be okay! He's totally fucked! Oh, sweetie! What is it this time, Max? What, are you talking to me? <laughs> why don't you- why don't you try flying into the courtroom? I can see it now, the dashing young lawyer flying fabulously in from above! One glimpse of that and everyone in the room will be on your side! Max, really? No one need to fly today! <laughs> I don't think we know how to do that. We don't have any wires and stuff. Nick, what's up with that look in your eyes? <laughs> I like the sound of that. Mmm. <laughs> Dashing young lawyer flying fabulously. Mmm. I'm starting to like that word. Fabulous. Fabulous! I'm gonna do it. Summer 29th, 10 a.m. District Court. Defendant Lobby. Er, no, I mean court room number two. I'm so used to Defendant Lobby number whatever. <laughs> Or number two. Shut up, everybody. I'm here. I am here in the house. Whoa. Whoa. Auto skipping dialogue. Oh, God. I'm already hitting the top. That's the ghost. <laughs> Stupid auto skipping bullshit. I didn't even get to say my awesome speech. I got to talk about my love for turkey sandwiches and Kamada. And I don't care. Shut up, you and Get on with it. We know what we all are. We know what you love. We know what's going to happen. Just get on with it. I'm sorry. I just realized the defendant's name is Billy Bob Jones. <laughs> Ah, it's funny. That was Billy Bob Thornton for a second. 
That scares the shit out of me. <laughs> Zoo! Well, isn't it fair to also know it's Maxman Galactica? Yes, Your Honor, he does often go by that name. Oh, you know my grandchild's a huge fan of it. <laughs> what, I have children? Oh my god! <laughs> Are they as crazy as I am? They, they all look exactly like him. <laughs> Even the girls look like him. <laughs> they all have big, massive beards. They're all bald. <laughs> We're one weird ass family. I think everyone here wouldn't mind because we call a fan of Maximilian Galactica. Sounds more friendly. Hmm, <laughs> I wonder if that is our, our advantage. It's fun. Call me opening statement, please. Please don't smack me anymore. <laughs> no, no promises. I hope I didn't bother you. Bo hope you didn't bother thinking you'd win this one, Mr. Felix Wright. Well, uh, I won the last one, so, uh, yeah, actually. I'm just gonna swing my big old dick in your face. What? Ah! Fuck you! Hmm, eh? That spirit channeling channel was a sham. I refuse to acknowledge its legitimacy. It did not count. Do you hear me? Sure, whatever. <laughs> whatever was actually sleeping at night, slut. You must still be upset about what happened last time. You have no chance. Zero. Zilch. Nada. I am not losing this case. Fuck you. Why well, you ask? Because it is not in the nature of a Von Karma to lose at anything. <laughs> I guess being bored of being Von Karma is a free pass to be arrogant and annoying and... God dang it. <laughs> Watch and learn, Mr. Peter Trite. Oh, I mean, I'm sad. I didn't, get, I didn't get Pearl being my little buddy in this at all. <laughs> I'm getting sick of you, Maya. You suck. I'm switching to it. I'm going to switch over to your cousin. <laughs> no, but I was always your sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but you've been replaced. No! <laughs> uh, I, thought she, I thought she would be working for me, too, but I, I guess she just kind of shows up randomly. I'll show you the textbook procedure for proving how absolutely guilty you are. M -m 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 me M -m 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 Guilty? Ah, testicles, what are you talking about? It'll be my ultimate revenge. Her dad's gone, you know. <laughs> yes, because I killed him. I wouldn't taste the fuck out of him as for payback. The prosecution is finished. Hurry up and wrap this up, up this waste of time. Fantastic! All right, my caller first witness was Von Karmer. Detective Gil Gongshu, get up here now! Get up here! Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Ah, oh, Jesus! Why am I always the first one up here? Please don't hurt me! Please! <laughs> I want you to say what I was told you to say before you came up here. Okay, I just did. Oh, yeah, me! <laughs> Sorry to keep you from your work, as I'm sure you need every penny you can earn, detective. Don't mention it. It's no trouble at all. Uh, uh, please, I've been looking forward to this. <laughs> please don't hit me. Very well. I would like you to begin by shedding light on the events in question. At your service, sir. All right, detective. May I proceed with your testimony? Oh, Jesus. I peed myself. Details of the events. The night of the crime, snow was falling under until 9.40 p.m., making it extremely cold out. All of the circuit performers gathered in the big top to practice their routines. The uh, practice session broke up around 10 p.m. The murder it itself took place in the plaza at, in front of the lodging house at 10.15 p.m. The victim was found bent over a wooden box dead as a doornail. The cause of death was blunt force trauma that snapped a vertebrae in his neck. Ooh! Ow! Mmm! <laughs> Actually, I didn't say hmm that time. <laughs> I'm breaking, I'm breaking it up, now I see, I see. Oh, yeah, you didn't see that one coming, did you, right? Yeah, I, I, I don't know, wasn't really paying attention. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna throw down the beast, throw down the beast. Oh, 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 oh. All right, sorry, it was beating, it was beating to death. Here's the autopsy report for the victim. Of course, substance and evidence. God, I've got a lot of evidence right now. I think about like, this is like my third page, I think. Or actually, no, maybe just my second page. No, yeah, never mind. Hey, look, it's my corner bag. I got a bag. A blonde object. Mm. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. All right, bring it on, booby boob. Let's do this. Okay, the night of the crime, snow was falling until 9.40 p.m., making it extremely cold out. Hold it! What do you mean it's cold? I don't know what that means. Let me ask you about the snow. It was nearly a blizzard up until the time of the crime. Did it pile up? It wasn't such a big deal. Maybe about an inch and half about <laughs> was on the ground. The snow froze in place and stayed on the ground until the next day. Ah, nah, nah. <laughs> okay, that was funny for some reason. Hmm, snow, let me see. There's got to be more to this. It was a matter, Nick. I need to take a look at the court record. 
Gumshoe, what were the members of the circus doing the night of the crime? Wait, what? Now the crime snow was falling until 940, making it extremely cold out. Did he check the court record? Is that, that is already something up? Okay, all circus performers gathered in front of the big top to practice their routines. What do you say, all of the circus performers? Who do you mean? Every woman the dancers and the staff were there. Regina the animal tamer, Mo the clown, Ben the ventriloquist, <laughs> and of course the defendant, Maximilian Galacta, and his victim, the ringmaster. I almost forgot. Regent the tiger was there too. He was like, rah, or something, you know. <laughs> what tigers do? Mm, out of curiosity, what about the circus monkey? <laughs> when I was investigating yesterday, he happened to snatch my wristwatch, the little shit. Retired, you are welcome to file a police report after these proceedings. <laughs> That's right, I am. <laughs> I am gonna arrest that monkey when I find him. He's going in the monkey bin. To the monkey bin. I've had enough of this monkey business. <laughs> monkey, monkey, monkey. Okay, practice session broke up around 10 p.m. After the practice was over, where did everyone head off to? Regina was playing with Regent, while Mo went back to his room tired from work. Then the ventriloquist went to the front gate, absorbed in his own world. <laughs> his own crazy world. <laughs> Talking to himself. <laughs> Much like Nico's doing right now. <laughs> hey, what does that mean? You think I'm crazy? I'm not crazy! No, I'm crazy! Isn't that right, Monokuma? Yes! That's right, Nico! You're not crazy! No! <laughs> Alright, good. <laughs> uh, what the hell? What? I didn't click anything! I didn't click anything! You just... The game got tired of waiting for you <laughs> to do your stupid shit. Fuck. I can't go back, can I? Okay, the, ring ma the ringmaster Air Max went off off to the ringmaster's room to talk privately. Talk privately, huh? Oh, that's awfully suspicious. It's getting hot and steamy in there. Wouldn't want to, wouldn't, you wouldn't have to know any, what they were talking about, would you? Seems they were negotiating Max's salary. Actually, Max was asking for Junior's hand in marriage. <laughs> the creep. Oh, yeah, apparently, I think he has said oh, She's like 16 or something. God, she looks like she's 12. But even, well, even 16, though, is still, like, that's fucking young. I mean, and this grown-ass man, how old is that? 31. <laughs> that guy's 31, and Max is tw 21. Okay. Th this guy? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I mean, I... Unless we're... <laughs> no, that... <laughs> but I was only built three years ago. I'm only three years old. That's the, that's the logic we're going with. The murder itself took place in the plaza in front of the lodging house at 10, 15 p.m. <laughs> I'd like you to be a bit more specific about the events at 10, 15 p.m. Um, okay, uh, not a problem, pal. We've got a new, got a witness that told us how the whole thing- ah! <laughs> This is totally meaningless. Time to move on. Mm, all right, well, we'll just have to revisit that testimony later. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Well, like, can you ever be on my side, Judge? I don't, because I'm afraid of her. You don't smack me when I say wrong things. Dr. Gumshoe, would you mind telling us how the victim met, met, met his end? The victim was found bent over a wooden box, dead as a doornail. What was what was in the box anyway? Do we know? A wooden box. That's right. The victim must have must have been carrying the wooden box when he was killed. Where the box, huh? It was a rather strange wooden box, Your Honor. What do you mean? Well, it was much heavier than it looked. Not to mention it was locked. Uh oh, oh, you say? Oh, oh, there we go. I'm just now adding that I'm having the nervous now. I've been my only chance, so I might as well ask some questions. About the wooden box, about the lock, about the contents. I can't get inside it. Right? Well, you know, how was it locked? You said the box was locked. How exactly was it locked? Well, it had quite a sturdy lock on it. It took quite a bit to, to, to open that bad boy up. Oh, they actually did open it. Okay. So when you found the box, it was locked, correct? Yes, it was. Some of the for forensics team took it back to the precinct to crack it open. Say, dear Detective Gumshoe. Do you mind telling us what was inside that box? Well, when we found the box, it was locked tighter than Fort Knox. So we took it back to the station and cracked it open. All that was inside was this. This little bottle. Really? It like, I like how I had to actually fucking ask him for that. It's like, nobody nobody else is going to ask him, apparently. Bottle? What's that, Detective? Exactly what it looks like, Your Honor. It's a con it's a condiment bottle. Oh, salt. Oh, like a salt shaker. What's inside the bottle? 
It's filled with... Oh! Pepper! Pepper? Why in the world was it locked in that big box? My God, I bet it's full of cocaine! Give it to me! I'd love to make some good old cocaine! There's only one little... One little bottle in that huge box. Only if it some sort of special meaning. Small seasoning bottle. What in the world is going on here? The cause of death was blunt force trauma that was snapped the vertebrae. Oh. Jesus Christ. That's a bad way to go. According to the autopsy report, the murder weapon was a blunt object, correct? You've done your homework, pal. And I just literally said that to you. <laughs> and you haven't found this murder weapon, have you? The police are searching for it as we speak. My theory is that it's, some, it's something the perpetrator ran off with. You would think so, especially since he didn't find it on the scene. No, 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 I bet he made it disappear with magic. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you should fucking whip. What? You, you weren't gonna you whip? You're not gonna whip him for that? <laughs> you whipped him for giving his testimony, but you're not gonna whip him for that stupid bullshit? I don't fucking get you, Von Karma. God damn it. <laughs> you fucking dirty whore. What the hell? Why does he keep doing this? He keeps auto scrolling. I'm not clicking any but <sighs> This is all we're gonna get out of Gumshoe Case. Maybe all we're gonna get out of him is your little bottle of pepper. Not that we got wrapped up with this uh, detective. I'd like to call it my next witness. My next witness. I don't that's weird. I've never had to do this before. I'm not clicking any buttons, it's just just going. I don't know, that's weird. I I'm s I don't know why he's doing that. It's confusing me. I'd like to call it my next witness. I'm not even off the stand yet. Obviously, but that's due to, to you being slow and unable to take a hit. Get the fuck out of here! I shall smack you more. I, I don't know, but wrapped up has such a means out to it. I'm such a I'm such a guy. Thank you very much, Dead of Gumshoe. <laughs> Thanks for being more useless than you always, usually are. No problem. You may step down. And get the fuck out of here. It's fun call. We'll call our next witness. I would like to call Mr. Benjamin Woodman to the stand. Woodman. Hmm. Especially you're talking about Ben the Ventriloquist. I wonder if Turner would show up on his dad as well. <laughs> Probably. Yep. Oh, what? <laughs> Stoop. Now, now, Trillo. <laughs> Shut up! You're such a fucking pussy! Place such your name in occupation for the record. My full name, my full name is Trillo Quest. I'm employed as an operator. Excuse me? What the fuck? Is that little woodman talking to me? <laughs> we just called to this town. Uh, to this town was one uh, Mr. Benjamin Woodman Ventrilo Quest. That road must be cutting off your circulation! I said that I was a singer! If you don't believe me, fine, I'll grace you with a song! Here we go! The world of the law, starting and daring, guilt or innocence! Started by a judge dressed up like a woman! Well, well what do you think? <coughs> I'm ready to just strike you! I am flexing my hand, getting ready for my- to crack my whip! Oh! Yeah, good rhythm. <laughs> it's just the lyrics. It leaves something to be desired, so to speak. Trillo, you know better than to insult a judge. Shut up! Just, just look at your nose! You would think you have a sense to fix it! <laughs> it's so ugly, I want to punch you in the face on the off chance swimming would help! <laughs> you know that your nose is the reason you'll never be an endless star! <laughs> Jesus Christ. I feel like this guy has some self loathing issues here. <laughs> Celebrities would really enjoy saying things, everything that flashes in their mind. What's going on here? Order! Order! <coughs> I demand an order of turkey sandwiches! All for me! I demand know what the witness is! Don't... Don't... Don't worry about me, sir. I'll... I'll let Trollo handle this. I'm not worried about you one bit. Worry about... Oh! No one get anyone trying to figure out this witness. Just... Just get on with it! <laughs> it uses the puppet to talk. That's all there is to it. Let's do it seems to be randomly, like, I didn't click again. It seems to be really randomly doing, like, uh, insta-moving messages. It's never done this. I mean, I, usually it'll do it, but it does it, like, when something, somebody's just something really fast. It's weird. I, I don't know. What you witnessed? This practice was over. I left the sudden with the stooge. I mean, clown. Once we got out of the lodging house, I just simply went over to the plaza. That's when I saw Max heading towards the scene of the crime. He was the only one heading that way. How could the punk not be the killer? The police showed up and took Magic Boy away. You saw Maximilian Galacta heading towards the seat. You're sure of that? Without a doubt, he had on his silk hat, cloak, and the dumb white roses on his chest. 
How can you mistake someone with that crazy getup and his no stirrup so high? That's enough. God damn. I think we all got the picture. Fuck me. Shut this little shit up. <laughs> There's one thing. You said you ditched the clown. That's right, dress boy. <laughs> I'm not a boy. I'm an old man. <laughs> well, since you weren't with him, how good did that mean that the clown committed the crime? Hmm. He's got a point. <laughs> He's got a point. Wow, I don't believe it. The judge. Look at the judge. <laughs> Putting out contradictions and asking questions. What a shame. It was a nice theory, but the clown can't be the criminal. Why's that? Here's the absolute proof. Because he's got a fucking... Because he left his hat there. A silk hat? This was found at the scene of the crime. It belongs to the defendant. <laughs> Please tell me there's like fingerprints or something on it, because otherwise this is just fucking... That's some loose fucking evidence. <laughs> uh. Without question, he was wearing his signature hat during practice. If the clown was the murderer, there would be no reason for this hat to be at the scene. Unless he was trying to frame somebody, but a good thing that didn't happen! <laughs> mm. Well done! Spun karma! Wow, that totally seals the deal! He's totally the killer! <laughs> Your prosecution skills are unrivaled! Well done! <laughs> okay, that's, that's not that impressive. That is, that is ridiculously circumstantial. It's like, it's like, oh, the hat, of course. His hat. It's like, you mean that hat that he, anyone could have just probably gone and stolen from his room? <laughs> Behold, I am awesome, suck bubbles. Thank you for stating the obvious. Mr. Phoenix, what do you have to say? Okay, I guess she's gonna she's the boss again today. Alright, bring it on nipple. Face. I don't know. <laughs> I'm running out of boob I'm running out of boob names. <laughs> what you witnessed. Okay, once the practice was over, I left the tent with the stooge. I mean clown. The clown, you're talking about Mo. Of course I'm talking about that old fart, he's so pathetic, I can't stand him! I can't stand him! Just a little bit of exercise and his makeup is running all over the place! Once practice was over, he was nine-tenths of the way of tech healing over for good! The puppet's got just a smug little face look on his face, doesn't he? Just like one eyebrow's always raised like... Yeah, that's right! I got a big... I got a big dick! You got a problem with that? Poor guy. <laughs> we now need choice of Ben took him, took him back to his room! When it comes to being a first place loser, that guy's ahead of the pack! What happened? Once we got to the lodging house, I ditched him and went over the plaza. What do you mean you ditched him? What did you do then? I went over the plaza to do some thinking. It's awfully cold out that night, especially with all the snow around. Wouldn't, wouldn't thinking in your nice warm lodging house have been a better idea? Mr. Phoenix writes he's an inanimate object, nobody fucking cares. <laughs> I think you should leave the thinking to the witness. But I'm a good, uh, but I'm a good thunker. <laughs> I'm a good thunker. At least my teachers always said I was. Mm, yes. Okay, that's when I saw Max sitting towards the scene of the crime. Hmm. Are you sure it was really Max Galactica? Of course I'm sure. How could you mistake someone wearing such a snobby three-piece getup? Snobby three-piece getup. Can go wax it every year as lawyer nowadays. Lawyers nowadays, you're always like talking to a brick wall. Max is three beasts, get up! Jeez, can you be any more dense? All together now! So, crack, cloak, white roses! Thank you! Good night! Nigga, they need you put a little bit more effort in preparing questions. Shut up, I just yell, hold it, and let things happen. He was the only one heading that way. How could the, how could that punk not be the killer? You saw Max and only Max, right, Trillo? That's right! And that makes him the killer! I win, you lose! There was only one person headed that way that night. That makes quite a bit of sense. And it makes Max one suspicious character. There's more to this story than meets the eye. Is there something amiss in this? It was his costume, but I mean, it'll be like, well, who else is would it be or something, I guess. Did he only see, Ben only saw Max? It's a bit strange, don't you think? What's strange? <laughs> they only saw Max. Doesn't it seem like you should have seen someone else as well? Well, where are you going oh, oh, with this, Mr. Wright? Who else are you supposed to wear his good scene? <laughs> the monkey! <laughs> uh, was it was it last night that they, they confessed? It was, wasn't it? Regina? Don't hold your tongue, man! It's your job to answer all the stupid questions! I'm sorry, Trula. I'm gonna find a way to get more information out of this witness. Okay, that wasn't right. Think about it some more, Nick. I'm 
Sure you'll come up with something? I'm sure that Woody didn't have an ulterior motive for incriminating Max, Woody. Well, that's what I was trying to say. I was like, well, Max is part of the, the better love triangle with Regina, which is probably why Max conked him over the head. Um, Nick, wasn't Ben the one who got knocked over the head? Uh, yeah. I think so. I don't know anymore. To, to guess for Hannah Meadows, maybe? I, I don't know. That's... That's the vic- Oh, okay, okay. That's the victim. That's correct! Intrello was at the entrance of the plaza. He should have seen the ringmaster as well. Ah! I don't see the ringmaster arrived at the scene of the crime before the witness could have seen him. Anyone who could have figured that- Sons could have figured that one out. What are you talking about? The ringmaster and Max went to the- together to the ringmaster's room. Is that according to the defendant's unlikely story? If Maximilian Galactica was supposed to be in the ringmaster's room, why was he just as the witness stated at the scene of the crime? Ah! I see, it seems uh, a state I have no reason to doubt the witness's testimony. And there are clearly no conclusive contradictions. He's right. A pretty good judgment, Your Honor. Now let's move along with the testimony. Drew will never never know. Oh. So that wasn't it. Oh, okay. Well, alright. I didn't lose anything for that. That was interesting. I haven't pressed him on this, I might as well press him on it. Around what time did the police arrive at the scene? Mm, I suppose I would, would have been around. Hey, what time was it? Um, I don't think it was around, I'd say a bit after 10.30, I think. Greg said at 10 p.m. so young around the lodging house the entire time. I, I, I guess that sounds about right. Hmm, wasn't it awfully cold? I can't believe you just stand outside in that weather. Well, uh, the tr truth is... Will you shut up, you big nose dope? Why are you telling me anything extra? Why can't you believe that we just stand outside in the that weather? Well, maybe you were waiting for someone. What? Who said we were waiting for someone? Mr. Yes. Venus, right? We, you know, we can all do without your off-handed theaters. But this witness, he's cracking under the measure already. I'm on to something. Mr. Wright. Oh, here we go. We suppose the witness was waiting for it on the cold that night. Here we go. You, Regina. Well, if he was waiting outside in the cold, it was for one person. And one person only, he was waiting for the animal tamer, Regina. What? what? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Damn, that really, that really had me going for a loop there. They had, like, bonus... That was kind of, like, at least they, had, they, they put it in effort to their to the wrong answers to make it look like I was picking right answers, so I gotta give it to them for that. So make it, make it a little bit more difficult where it's not just, like, everything else is, like... I don't know what you're talking about, you know. You're waiting outside for Regina to come back to the lodging house. Am I mistaken? It is true. Well, I, um, you can't really make me ask, ask me to ask, ask me that question. Who cares who I was waiting for that night? <laughs> like a trillion big fucking exploded. Go! Like, oh! <laughs> How did I get back together so fast? What's important is what I saw. Don't you forget it? I see in big red letters. Well, well, uh, maybe a bit stiff, but he's right. Uh. All right. There's obviously a reason why this witness was there that night. He spent all that time waiting for Regina to arrive. Moreover, even if someone else would have walked right in front of him, I doubt he would have made them a second thought. Ah! Ah! Draw the fire up! Okay. That makes perfect sense. What did you say? You're supposed to be on my side, you bitch! I paid- I bribed you! Whatever, slut, I used to buy a turkey sandwich. <laughs> With my- for my beloved Kameda. So suck my balls! <laughs> then we just saw the defendant at the scene of the crime. However, he did not see the victim on the way to his eventual demise. If you accept that, then you must accept that there is a high likelihood that... He could have missed someone else other than Max heading to the- Ah, oh, see, ow! <laughs> There's absolutely no proof that the witness was waiting for the animal tamer. Um, um, I, I guess you got me. All right, all right. I'll spill the beans for the real this time. That's true. I was waiting for Regina. <laughs> Bing is all pain. <laughs> Don't fall into your things. Mr. Quest, tell us the truth this time. I mean the whole truth. Nothing but the truth. So up the balls. Were you, were you not waiting for Regina at the end of the laundry house? I was. I was waiting to propose to her. You were what? Waiting to propose? Oh. What's the matter? You think that Cuban's have a monopoly of marriage? 
Alright, a matter of a puppet marriage is not a review in this case. <coughs> that comes up. Whether puppets can marry human beings is a, <coughs> is a whole other matter that comes up, will come up next week. For right now. You're the judge. I mean, look at your whole outfit. <laughs> oh, here we go. And this isn't big red letters. You're the judge. I mean, look at your horrible outfit. So, it seems like he's basing a lot right on, on the outfit and not who the person is, I suppose. <laughs> oh, more pain! <laughs> Please stop hitting me. <laughs> Next you're bumbling. My perfect plan is not so perfect anymore. Fuck your shit. Now we have to waste time getting to the bottom of some silly proposal by a puppet. About the proposal. Always so surprised I was going to propose to Regina. Even I, I even had something to give her to her. I kept it in my pocket, waiting for the chance to propose and give it to her. Of course, I also had it in my pocket then. I also had it in my pocket that night. It was a present for her. If you had it in the pocket, yeah, so here we go. If it was in your pocket, then why does the monkey have it, right? And yet I wasn't able to give it to her, so I still got it in my pocket. Mmm, oh, here we go. You're going to propose, you, a puppet. Don't be so obtuse, just because I want puppet doesn't mean I can't love. <laughs> I still have feelings <laughs> under this hard exterior. Okay, I guess you're right, of course. How can I find that logic? It's because I'm old as me and I couldn't propose to her too. <laughs> Ew, what? Whoa, that was kind of creepy logic. Just because I'm like 85 doesn't mean I can propose to a 16-year-old girl. <laughs> nope, there's nothing wrong with that. Nope. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Exactly. Is understanding a little less than honorable right now? <laughs> Seriously. Okay, Mr. Wright, please continue with the examination. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my inhaler. Uh, oh, you did. He says he's a little wasteful. <laughs> I'm so lonely. <laughs> oh, but it loves me. Don't worry. I'll always be there for you, Judge. Oh, thank you, Commander. I do wish you were a little less bananas, but this works. We'll be bananas together. All right, bring it on, Mole Boob. Okay, so it's totally the, the last thing you said. I still got it on me. Really? Because I've got the ring right here in my fucking hand or something. Really? Or do you mean Objection. this? Oh, what? Okay, maybe this one? Objection. Oh, come on! I found the ring in the fucking room with the monkey. He couldn't have had it. He can't have it right now. I don't understand why this is even... Fine, I guess I'll hold it then. So you really was thinking of trying to give it to Regina? Of course I am! I spent three months selling around this thing! I'm not gonna give it that easily! I wonder how much he received for pairing, pairing his circus. Probably way more than he deserves. How about it, Nick? Let me have time to unwrap this toy's testimony. This is Baron Nick! Give him a hit! Oh, the show's that day's look again. <laughs> Where am I? Who are these people? What are you doing in my house? Maybe you should get it. Maybe you should get out more. <laughs> I'm so confused. Like, I feel like I... I have the hole in it, right? I mean, the argument. Even I had something to give her! May have to specify? Okay, here we go. Well, what was it exactly that you planned on giving her? It was a ring, right? Do I have to, I have to wait for him to specify it was a ring? I, I, I thought it was pretty fucking obvious he's gonna propose to her. You know exactly what I was going to give her, you numbskull? Only I could find that match, could match Regina's beauty! Answer this question, what's was it? You're gonna die when you hear this! It's an engagement ring! <sighs> okay, I had to, that's what I had to do. I had to fucking wait for him to tell me. Er, okay! Gave him rank. Well, those two nearly fell out of their chairs. What do you think proposing means? Golly! I'm sorry, I, I thought that was just f make common fucking sense. Mr. Phoenix Rank Show has gone too far. Time for this end in right here. Princess the Whip looks like it's about ready to lash out at almost anything. One hit from that thing will probably shut up someone up for a long time. P pain equals <laughs> pain equals bad. <laughs> no, push on. It may be something of a joke, but uh, this is a historic moment. The first set of puppet has ever proposed to a human being. Ah! I advise you to cut this argument short. I'm going to have to agree with the defense here. Will the witness please revise the testimony? Here we go. Don't worry about the engagement ring. I'd like to stick to the facts, not sociality. Sure to enjoy sweating the details, especially for a man in a black, black bathrobes. Here we go. Okay, so I, I guess we've got to present it here? I thought I would have presented it. Okay, no, I... Objection. Now I can present it there, okay. Ugh. 
that's stupid. That is so stupid because what else would you propose to somebody with? I'm sorry, I, I was going to propose to her with this turkey sandwich here. Isn't that just the most logical thing to do? Huh? No, you're going to propose with a ring. It's like, I really had to specify it was a fucking engagement ring. Ugh. What do you think propose means? Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, is, it, is there some other gift that people propose with? <laughs> I'm going to propose with a promise. To get you a fucking ring eventually. <laughs> Good, you better be a ring. God damn. If you love it, then you better put a ring on it. <laughs> so even that song says it. Come on. Truly, really, you mind if I show you something? <laughs> what, what is it? What are you talking about? Uh oh, looks like they're going to double team me now. Do you recognize this ring? Oh, that's, that's, that's my give it back thing, thing. Didn't you just by this very object I believe you said? In the end, it, I wasn't able to give it to her, so I still got it in my pocket. Why is it do I have it right here in my balls? Ah! Oh my god, stop exploding on my, in my courtroom. What's going on here? I, that's... Princess, I think you fucker! Hey, don't put me on the spot like that, truly. I, I, I found this in Money's room. Money's room? Oh! You mean a room, room they put money like a bank vault? Oh my god! Oh, that filthy monkey's gonna get what's coming him! <laughs> He's in the, the monkey's in the gun, and he's like, oh, oh, oh! <laughs> You shut up! I'm gonna fucking fuck you when this is over! Where's a pervy void slamming incense f incense fires in my courtroom? Well, your money really is a monkey in every sense of the word. Oh, I see. Well, then. Money likes to go after the shiniest things that he can find and gather them up. Shiny things? Oh! I like shiny things, too. Trullo! When was this ring stolen from you? Well, I suppose it was the t that time, you know. That night. The night of the crime. <laughs> What did you just say? Fucking fuck! You could have just said this morning or something, but no, you had to stew at that. Details. I need more details. Well, it was stolen right after Max showed up in the closet. Right about when you saw the defendant walk past, correct? Well, um, I guess you might um be able to say that the ring might have. Well, it could have been taken around that time. <laughs> oh my! Oh, are you in the? Well, monkey is in the audience. Oh, oh god! Oh, 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 oh god! That's a bad monkey right there. Bad monkey. Bad monkey with you. Oh whatever. That's nothing to do with anything. Soon enough, but they come. He'll come another murder. There's no reason you decide what it has to do with. With what? No, drill it back to that topic at hand. I'm gonna make anything. Don't I, Mr. Trollquist? Mm, what did you do when the ring was taken, Drillo? But you weren't able to catch up with him, were you? It's all the slow, loafy fools called Ben's fault. While he was falling his way through the snow, that dumb monkey was able to get away. That's indeed a terrible shame. <laughs> I sympathize with you, little wooden man. Well, this does indeed prove a very, one very important point. Prove an important point? No! What could it possibly, possibly be? <laughs> He's obviously he's mean to Ben doesn't exercise enough. <laughs> That's obviously the... <laughs> Yes. I like, this is the option it gives me. Th these two options. Hmm. This one's the most obviously right one. All right, fine. Men's testimony. There's a huge contradiction in this one's testimony. Contradiction? No, that doesn't make any sense. I no, don't see any contradiction at all. The witness was invited following the event. Up until the police arrived, he didn't move from the entrance to the plaza. <laughs> However, <laughs> the witness just stated that he chased after the money the monkey. When the witness was off chasing money, there was no one watching the plaza. Oh, I'm cold, my wizard cold. What is the meaning of all this, Mr. Phoenix Knight? Where are you going with this little theory of yours? What do you think? <laughs> I'm saying that there's no possible way the wind is on the plaza the entire time. That's where I'm going with this little theory, which leads me to my next point. It is entirely possible that someone other than the defendant was at the scene. Oh, oh, oh! Ah, 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 ah! Mr. Mr. Rock? Well then, tell me this, Mr. Phoenix Knight! Do you have any proof that something slipped past this this vigilant ventriloquist? Mm, well, he obviously didn't see the victim, the ringmaster, arrive on the scene. 
Oh, how? Oh, I'm looking very dramatic now. However, that doesn't change the fact that he saw the defendant arrive. Mm, the defendant is lying. He's blinded by his rivalry with Max. Brr. <laughs> well, Spencer's argument does hold water. This witness does have a history of animosity towards the defendant. What? How dare you? I wouldn't want us to get the dark face in trouble. He's not even worth it. I saw him. No doubt about it. I saw him with his liar. Well, it's for clarity's sake, let's flush that, flush that exactly who you saw that night. Oh, I've told you so many times, you think you'd know my chance story's not changing. You've already changed your, sto your story, stick boy, and I'm sure it will change some more. Mm. Well, there's one, there's one line, there are usually many more behind it. You're right, Maya. And Tech and I, that's why we have to keep out after him. <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna get him this time. Witnessing Max. I'll give you that I was waiting for that night for Regina. But that doesn't change the fact that I saw Max in the plaza that night. Shut up. After I've been waiting there for about five minutes. I said good evening to him, but he didn't even acknowledge my presence. I'm actually sure it was him. I saw him in the at the same. There's no way I can mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm back saying him again. Mm. 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 Oh, sorry, I was singing my teeth. <laughs> so that means that money didn't show up until after you saw Max. That's right, money ran up at the, ran, ran up less than a minute after I saw Max. The money is the ring and you went chasing after him. How long was it until you came back to where you were waiting? Well, let's see. I'd say about... I suppose five minutes, I think. So the victim could have been drived at this scene in the five-minute stretch. Mr. Wright, please proceed with your cross-examination. All right, here we go. Bring on another boob. Words, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go. Okay, I'll give you two that I was waiting for Regina that night. It doesn't change the fact that I saw Max in the plaza that night. He showed up after I had been waiting there for about five minutes. He said good evening and acknowledged my presence. So you testify that you said good evening to Max that night. Must join asking incredibly obvious questions. You said good morning in the morning and you said good afternoon during the day, right? And it's obvious that I say good night to someone at the night. What button? You got something to add? Let me guess. That's not that's not a trill, you say so. Good evening at night. Oh, sorry, Trill. Mr. Quirce, I prefer if you kept your ventriloquist act outside of the courtroom. Seriously, fucking hell. Can I get any normal people in my courtroom? <laughs> like me? I'm so normal. Impossible performer lives and praises before says, you should know better. There's gotta be something wrong with this bit of a testimony. Especially... Nothing's especially... Nothing especially... Tr Trillo's evening gre greeting. Ben's half of the comedy act. I don't see anything wrong with it saying goodnight. Ben's half of the comedy act. I, I don't really know... I, I don't, I'm just gonna press my... I have no idea. I just say, but Ben's part of your little act is coming off a bit stale. I'm sure that it was a... If I... If it was a pro... Ah! You're not trying to pass yourself off as a professional before, but are you? Get so wrapped up in yourself, Mr. Venus, right? Uh, oh! <laughs> you should know better! <laughs> oh, 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 well, that hurts, stop it. That should have set him straight. You may proceed with your testimony, Mr. Witness. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> I'm not really sure what he meant by that, so. Okay, Trill's evening greeting, then. Isn't that a bit strange to you? What do you mean? Well, if you hate Max so much, why would you bother being nice to him? Oh, yeah, that's true. Strikes me as someone strange. Why would you strike you as strange? Exactly. How is it strange to be cordial to one of your co-workers? Well, if it was simply as being cordial to a co-worker, I would understand. Ah, that hurt. Maybe you should think of having some proof before you start flipping... Start lips are flapping next time. Proof is everything in this world. You should have learned that back in grade school. There's no reason that Trello would ever say something nice to Max. But how do I go about proving that with, that with the evidence? Bluffing is everything in this world. But I'm sure you already learned that one. I guess I can give it a shot. Let's resume his testimony. Okay. Holy. Press him on this, maybe. I don't know. Those three ridiculous symbols, huh? After asking exactly how many times have you asked that question by now? You're gonna ask again. I'll answer with a chorus. Everyone together now. Say okay. Blue. Why, bro? <laughs> Why, roses? Foucault was there too for some reason. Thank you very much. My, you didn't have to join in, did you? I like joining in. I like being part of things. But it's fun to get out with everyone else. There has to be a hole in a standby somewhere. I agree, but we have the proof to make something stick. We do is try, right, Nick? 
Quick, get it! Get it so you that will prove useful! Alright, time to go to work. Okay, I'm guessing, so I'm supposed to say something here that, to show the rivalry to one another, maybe? Oh, oh, the bottle. There we go. Of course, because he got smashed in the head. Drillo is not true that you had to fight with Max on the day of the murder. A fight. A fight over Gina, to be exact. What that big a deal? I'm just an argument. A disagreement at most. A disagreement you later than it was someone getting clunked over the head. I'll show you. You die tonight, go! Oh! <laughs> that morning, Ben got clobbered in the head by Max, didn't he? What? What? Is that an admission of assault and battery? Oh! <laughs> well, we handle that. We should wrap up the defendant's murder charge first. This <laughs> on the day of the crime, the defendant in the woods had a huge fight. There's absolutely no way they would have been suddenly become cordial that evening. More of it is concerned with the personality of the witness on his hand. There's no way a puppy this loot would just, it would just up and say good morning, good evening to his rival. Oh, you're right! Oh. Are you saying this witness is lying? No! That cannot be! That he is trying to defame the defendant by claiming to have seen him at the crime scene. I, I, I didn't kill a single eye, I was like, I didn't kill That's enough from you, Mr. Chris! I've had enough of you! Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Let's clarify this is testimony for the court. Would you explain your theory about who the witness actually saw that night? He didn't see anyone. He saw the defendant. He saw a different person. So it's like I'm, I'm trying to decide where did he lie here? Did he lie that he saw he that he didn't say good evening to him? Is he saying that he did say good evening, but the person answered back? But he, but he, if he thought it was him, he wouldn't have said that. So he saw a different person. It's my belief the witness did indeed see someone that night. It was just someone else. That's who he. Say good evening to. What kind of theory is that? The correct one. Furthermore, I don't believe the person the witness saw was Max at all. What? If you had truly met Max that night, there would have been no greeting at all. Which means there is only one proper answer. The person the witness saw that night was not Maximilian Galactica. This is why Trudel made the effort to agree whoever it was that he saw that evening. Or good evening, as he puts it. Well, the thing is, I mean... If he's wearing his outfit, I mean, it makes sense that you would think the person looks like if he's wearing their outfit. So is he saying he lied that the person was wearing the outfit? Is he saying he knew that it was somebody else, even though he they were wearing that outfit? Right? Ah! Oh, what in the world? You! Well, the fence can explain who watched your side even then. Oh. Oh, his boss. Russell Berry. Considering the ill temper of the witness, there's only one person he would greet. Or, oh, oh, well, it's, it could be his boss or Regina? Must be Regina. It's Regina, right? So she's so cute. No, your honor, is not Regina. If it was Regina, Trilla would have given her the engagement ring as a present. Oh, yeah. I suppose you got a point there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. I'm glad I didn't pick that one back. So. It was Russell Berry, the victim himself, was it not? Blah, blah, blah. You are correct, it was indeed Russell Berry. The person you saw that evening was the victim, the ringmaster Russell Berry. That's why you agreed him, Trillo, isn't that correct? Was he dressed up like, was it, does that mean he was dressed up like him, or is he, maybe the person that he saw dressed up like Max wasn't, act, was a different, I'm a little confused, so he said he, he saw him earlier, right? Dressed up in that outfit. Or was that, was that picture showing when he had actually seen him? Like, when he was waiting outside in the cold, or was that another incident when he, like, ran by him? I'm, I'm a little bit unsure. Oh! Gulp! <laughs> Answer the question, Mr. Gwist! Oh! Ah! Hold on, let me get my shit together! <laughs> order! Order! How, how do you respond to this? Wait a second! Well, first of all, was the old man! But, but, what's I got a better look at him? Who's up? He's Maximilian Galactica! I think it's high time we clear the air about this question. This quest obviously witnessed a single person there in the plots that evening. The problem is identifying exactly who that person was. Was it Maximilian Galactica? Or was it the Remaster One? One Mr. Russell Berry? The prosecution argues that it was the defendant that the witness saw that night. Because, because I want to win this case, that's why. <laughs> that is my logic. Oh, that makes perfect sense. The witness has clearly stated that he saw the defendant's three symbols. Three symbols? Alright, this is getting old! Come on, man, you gotta remember the money now! 
Here we go again! Everyone! All together now! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> yes, yes, we know! With the silk cat, the cloak, and the white roses! Everyone, if you, everyone sings that again, I will fucking kill all of you! Okay. The silk cat and the cloak! Anyone can wear them! They, they'd even look good on, they'd even look good on me! What was that? I'm saying I'm a, I'm a sexy motherfucker. That's right. Well, the witnesses endlessly repeat that what he saw is Max is too simple. However, how do we really know it was Max, Maximilian Galactica? It could have been someone else dressed up as him. Why, why is it taking this long for us to bring it up? It could have just been someone else dressed up like him. Possibly even Russell Berry. Russell Berry seems a lot shorter. I don't know, he seems kind of short and stubby. T or tubby and stuff, but... To be him, but... But he thought it was him, he thought it was him the first time. Alright. Oh, I'm cold, what? <laughs> Mr. Von Karma, do you have a clear evidence of the person the winner saw the defendant was the defendant? Well, I don't know. If that's the case, then it is impossible for me to make a judgment at this point. Yes, I think we finally only one avoiding this one. Hmm, that is very unfortunate. Ah, I was just pretending that freaked out. Now I'm noble again. Huh? You're just a little too excited for your own good, Mr. Phoenix, right? Hmm, what do you mean by that? I am not excited, you're excited. You merely established one thing from this witness. You established that this witness saw one person in the plaza that night. I applaud you on your effort, but... What? Oh, but? Who the person was will only be answered by the next witness! I knew that was going to happen! But, uh... Ah! I totally saw that coming. Your Honor, the prosecution will provide me on a shadow of a doubt! In answer to the question, and in evidence that clearly established one thing, that there is no one other than Maximilian Galactor responsible for this crime. Very well, very well. Go take a ten minute recess. You know what that means. Go to the That's right, go to the jungle gym. Wow! During that time, I request the prosecutor to prepare their next witness. Course now in recess. Hooray! <laughs> to be continued. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Well, so far the logic doesn't seem too bananas yet. I don't know. I mean, I mean, I I was able to figure it out at least. Um, that well, the only thing that the only thing I thought was stupid was the fact was the proposed the was I had to clarify the ring. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't so much it was like a jump in logic, more just like it was like it's common fucking sense, you know? Like why would I need to clarify that? So, but I don't know. I just thought that was, I thought that was kind of slow. But I think everything else seems. So far, fairly logical, I guess. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I don't know. When is the when's the bananas logic happened? Do you guys is it is it is it like the whole trial? Did I miss something that maybe <laughs> a plot hole or whatever the other guy said? Um, but I don't know. Anyway, like for you enjoy, subscribe now, become picky picky one aboard the SLP. Where the days are always sunny and the bits are always funny. Until next time, guys. Stay classy.